Time now for ABC4 News Sports with Dana Green. After 10 seasons at the helm, Larry Kristoviak is out as head coach of the Running Utes. Athletic Director Mark Harlan made the announcement that Coach K had been fired. When Larry Kristoviak arrived back in 2011, the Utes program was in the dumps. Utah won just six games in his first season, but four years later, the Utes were back in the big dance. With DeLon Wright and Jakob Pertl leading the way, the Utes made it to the Sweet 16 in 2015 and the second round of the tournament the next year. But it's been five years since Utah's made it back to the NCAA tournament. They were 12-13 and 13 this past season, and Harlan decided it was time for a change, saying the decision comes after a thorough evaluation of the program both on and off the court as I do with every head coach at the conclusion of their seasons. Ultimately, our program needs a new voice, a new vision, and a new leader who can build upon Larry's foundation and lead us to greater heights in the years ahead. You got the sense after the Utes lost to USC in the Pac-12 tournament last week that Kristoviak knew this was coming. Usually when a season ends, I'm kind of ready for a vacation. And... I would love to keep coaching them. Some 37 players have transferred during Kristoviak's tenure, and he got a lot of heat after canceling the BYU game in 2016 after the rivalry got too intense. I would not be doing my job in the description that it's given to me uh, for the well-being of our players and our program uh, if I didn't have reason to pause. Kristoviak still has two years and almost seven million dollars left on his contract. It will be costly to buy out Coach K, but Harlan said the funds will come from athletically generated resources. The search for a new coach is on and one of the names being mentioned is Utah State's Craig Smith. Well, the Utah Jazz are learning what it's like to be the top team in the NBA. Everyone is coming for them. Maybe that's why they've suddenly lost four out of six going into tonight's game at Boston. The Celtics jump out to the early lead in this one. Kemba Walker dancing behind the line, hits the pull-up jumper. Celtics lead by nine, but the Jazz fight back. Jordan Clarkson, huge second quarter, uses the Rudy Gobert screen, knocks down the three. Then it's Clarkson again. He had 20 points off the bench. Jazz up one at the break. Second half, Mike Conley distributing. Finds Joe Ingles. He had 14. Jazz shoot 44% from three. And look at this. Gobert dunks all over Daniel Thice and one. Posterize him, Rudy. Jazz up eight. Jazz trying to pull away. This time it's Conley from downtown. He finishes with 17. Boston, though, cuts it down to one. But Donovan Mitchell coming up clutch down the stretch. He led him with 21 points, hit a couple of huge three-pointers in the final minutes. Six Jazz players finished in double figures. The final 117-109. Big win for the Jazz, who improved to 29-10. and I think it just comes with my, my job. You know, it comes with, you know, what I've been given, the opportunity I've been given since my rookie year. And you know, sometimes shots that everyone doesn't take, I take, you know, as part of my role. And, you know, it's called hero ball to some, but not to me. It's the shots I work on. I think I just try to, you know, really lock in uh, and do all the little things that the team needs to to win this game. And, you know, it feels good because we play defense. And uh, tonight I really felt like we, we locked in defensively. And, uh, you know, it's a great game to build on. Here's what's coming up in local sports tonight. The Jazz will try to build on that win as they take on the Washington Wizards at 5 o'clock. Then on Friday, Utah State opens the NCAA tournament against Texas Tech. That's an 11.45 a.m. start in Indiana, while the Jazz play the Toronto Raptors later that night in Tampa at 6 o'clock. That's your morning sports report. Have a great day.